Hello and welcome to this brief tutorial on creating footnotes in Chicago style. My name is Sean Heron and I am the Social Sciences Librarian at Cal Poly Pomona. If you have questions about this tutorial or any of our tutorials, please contact me at smharen at cpp.edu. In this tutorial, we will explain what footnotes are and discuss some of the basics of creating Chicago style footnotes. So what are footnotes? Footnotes are a form of in-text citation in which the only part of the citation that is actually in the text is a small superscript number. That number links to notes that are found in the footer part of the page, hence the name footnotes. So, on the page in front of us, you can see that citation number 5 corresponds to the footnote at the bottom of the page, also marked number 5, which contains the actual citation for that source. Now, the footnote resembles in some ways the bibliographic citation. However, there are a few major differences you should keep in mind. First, regardless of whether we're talking about articles or books, the author names are always formatted first name, last name, instead of last name first, as is done in the bibliography. Next, in the case of books, all of the publication information is surrounded by a parenthesis. Finally, each footnote contains the page number where the information being cited is actually located in the source in question. These are, of course, only basic examples of footnotes, which can contain a wide variety of information, including URLs for online resources. For more examples of footnotes, please check out the Purdue Owls page on Chicago Style Citation, which you can find by typing Purdue Owls Chicago into Google or the search engine of your choice. You can also reference the Chicago Manual of Style itself by typing Chicago 17th into OneSearch. Finally, you can always contact a librarian for citation assistance. You can email us at libraryhelp, one word, at cpp.edu. Thank you for watching.